live. Alright. I got my thing off. Oh, that's it. Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. They got my thing lagging and shit. And stuff. I meant I retract that cuss word. <laughs> it's too late now. But why is the media pushing Kevin Durant? And the Lakers. Why? What's up, still the king? What's up, Q? What's up, Dorian? What's up, T Hub? What up, Scrub? Oh man, everybody done popped in. <laughs> they probably sent this out. What's up, One True? What's up, T Hub? It look like they got me lagging. Yeah, everything to sell ALBJ. What up, A-Dub? What up, B-Watt? He said he thought this was a stream yard. Nah, I'm gonna do a stream yard tonight. Be a little special stream yard tonight. They trying their hardest so bad to push this. Right, they always want... Now, they done crucified Kevin Durant. Done crucified. Everybody on the network, to the old heads, everybody's crucified Kevin Durant. But they want the media trying to push him to go to L.A. Why would Kevin Durant go to L.A.? It's so bad, they had to show a footage of him at a thing with Ben Simmons and Anthony Davis there. It looked like he just walked right past Anthony Davis, not even giving him no, no look or nothing. Then you had Ben Simmons there was just chilling to himself. It's like, what are we talking about? It looked like old footage from what I saw. <laughs> but the video doesn't mean nothing. Like, what does it mean? Oh, him and AD talking. Like, they ain't even talk. He walked past him. I don't even think he saw AD. I don't think he saw him. I just think Kevin Durant was walking in there heading somewhere I mean but to me this video was old but the media is pushing the narrative of trying to put Kevin Durant and um they trying to push Kevin Durant to Los Angeles my thing is why? Y'all hate on him so bad. Kevin Durant, it's okay if you criticize him. But you guys have gone overboard. Y'all are going overboard with this Kevin Durant thing. Y'all can't even let the man breathe. Y'all talk about this man 24-7. They done stop talking about Kawhi because they like, he too boring, man. He don't say nothing. <laughs> he private.
They done stopped saying stuff about Kyrie. <laughs> they like, well, let's still let's stay on Kevin Durant. Cause he he he's the best player in the game, but we gotta fake like he's not the best player in the game. We gotta keep destroying him. All because he went to Golden State and whooped LeBron ass twice. It's a shame. But now y'all LeBron fans want Kevin Durant on the team now. After you guys trashed him all his whole damn career since being in Golden State, y'all trashed him. But now you and the media are trying to push him to play. KD's not sensitive. KD's just tired of the bullshit. It's a point to be sensitive, but dog, when people are talking about you every goddamn day on the sports news and then you're in public, you got people coming up to you in public and it's like, dog, it's, it's tiresome. I don't blame them for cussing their ass out. I would cuss their ass out too on Twitter and I would cuss their ass out too. If I could cuss the media out, I would. Because, dog, this is too much. They never did this much bullshit to LeBron or, or anybody around LeBron. Russell Westbrook got it for one season. Other than that, Russell, West, Russell, Russell Westbrook ain't really got any backlash. He only got backlash for this past season. And he couldn't take it. Don't call me Westbrook or Westbrick. I call him Westbrook. Everybody call him Westbrook. I call him Westbrook. That there be Westbrook. Because that dude ball for broke. His shot could be off. He could be hurt. That dude's still going 100 miles per hour to try to win the game. But this is, the, this is what I'm saying. Kevin Durant, everybody like he's sensitive and shit. I'm like, dude, what what else can he do? It's like, dog. Like, what else can he do? The man, uh, dog, the man made his decision. Y'all keep destroying the man. And now y'all want him to play with um, LeBron. But y'all talk about him like a dog every day. Listen, when Kevin Durant passes away, that's when he's going to get his love. He's not going to get his love while he's playing. Nobody's going to give him love. Nobody's going to give him respect or nothing. They're going to keep hating on him. They made it cool to hate Kevin Durant. And it's sad. It took for Kobe Bryant to die. It took for Kobe Bryant to die. For them to actually give him his love. Rage Man Reg hates on Kobe. These other guys on YouTube hate on Kobe. And it's like, it's crazy to me. How do you hate on Kobe when Kobe was probably, he's the best Laker. I don't care what anybody say. He's the greatest Laker ever. Everybody loved to say Magic. I'm like, dog, Magic was never polarizing as Kobe. He was polarizing. But, dog, Kobe took it to a whole nother level. And plus, Magic had way better teams than Kobe. And I love Magic. But the disrespect to Kobe, like everybody hates Kobe. Kobe didn't get no love till he passed away. And he's still getting hated. Somebody's still trying to find a way to hate Man, he was okay. He won all that. I'm like, are you serious? This kid was 21 years old in his first finals. Hit some of the biggest shots we know the man to win game four. They were on the verge of the series being 2-2 going back to L.A. Kobe stepped up in overtime and at the end of regulation to win the games. But he don't get no respect. Bill Russell passed away. 
They didn't give Bill Russell his flowers or nothing. Bill Russell passed away. Now he the GOAT. It's like, come on, dawg. Stop with that fake shit. What's up, Jamie? Scrub in the house. Exactly. Right, it was magic. Before Kobe, it was magic. Magic and Jerry West came out and said, he the greatest Laker ever. <laughs> That's period. Yeah. Oh, they tried to bring it up. Them Kobe fans weren't having it. Them Kobe fans came out and blasted everybody. They wrecked your career. Them Kobe fans put pressure on everybody. They was like, God damn, dog, y'all done y'all done destroyed this man's whole career. Now y'all want to keep talking about the shit. God damn. The man couldn't do nothing when he was living. Now y'all hating on him in death, trying to bring up the case. <laughs> They want KD in LA so bad. It's sickening. The Jalen Brown for KD BS. That wasn't no BS. That was a real trade about to go down. The Nets effed it up. The Nets wanted Marcus Smart. If they would have gave up Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart would have been a Brooklyn Net yesterday. But the Celtics want to keep Marcus Smart for whatever reason. That trade was about to go down. The Raptors trade was on the table. The Nets and Sean Marks messed it up, but they did that on purpose. The NBA did all of this stuff on purpose because they don't want Kevin Durant to leave. They want him to stay in Brooklyn. They want to blackball Kyrie. They want to keep Kevin Durant. But see, Kevin Durant told them, I'm not playing on this team if there's no Kyrie. They wanted to sign Kyrie to a two-year deal plus a two-year option deal. It was insulting. That was very insulting to Kyrie Irving. Excuse me. And I told everybody, Kyrie Irving should have got his full guaranteed contract. He didn't get his contract because the NBA, and this is allegedly, all this is allegedly, the NBA forced to be, this is what I feel happened. The NBA forced the Wolves to make that up the market. The Lakers would have took Kyrie, but they really don't want Kyrie. Marcus Smart's not a G League player, dog. Don't, don't diss Marcus Smart now when he helped get y'all to the finals. Marcus Smart is a good player. His problem is 
you can't have him playing the point. Marcus Smart is a two guard. He's not a point guard. What's up, Nick Jacobs? Right, but see, that's what I'm saying. But see, Kevin Durant, they keep changing his narrative. Kevin Durant don't want to go to Boston. He wanted to go to Miami or Phoenix. That was it. He didn't want to go to no Boston or no other team. They made that up. Kevin Durant wanted to leave because they didn't sign Kyrie Irving. And then they asked Kyrie to go get a trade. They told him, go get a trade. And the NBA blocked everybody from going to get him. Now, if Kyrie wanted to go to, like, let's say my Magic, he can go there. The Magic, the Magic, the Magic of him. But the thing with that is, nobody really wanted Kyrie Irving as a contender. Because they know they have to sign him to a full-time deal. Kyrie's not going to go if you're not going to guarantee him a contract. And then you got all these people on the internet and media pushing a bullshit narrative that don't make any sense. First, you don't like Kevin Durant. Now you're trying to push him to go to damn LeBron. It's like, no. Oh, no, Stern wouldn't allow none of this shit. None of it would have happened. None of this would have happened. David Stern would have been having all this player movement. LeBron James would have, he would have sat LeBron James' ass down. He would have moved away from LeBron James as the face of the league. If David Stern was alive, he would have moved away from LeBron. He would have been like, okay, we're done with you. You did all you could. You want to keep bouncing around. I can't promote a player bouncing around like that. You can't keep promoting a player who loves to bounce around, who's always trying to change the narrative. Always trying to change the narrative. They got my damn thing lagging and everything. Boy, I tell you, you two full of shit. You two just do not want anybody to be great, right? But Kevin Durant wants to go to Phoenix or Miami, but nobody wants to trade because Sean Marks. Sean Marks done effed everything up. He keeps wanting all this deal because I'm telling you what happened. The NBA, in my opinion, made the Wolves do that trade for Arm Gobert. So Kevin Durant doesn't leave. They want him to stay in Brooklyn. Why do they want Kevin Durant to stay in Brooklyn so bad? Why he can't leave? But if it was LeBron, oh man, it would have been, it would have been, um, oh, it's cool. He could be traded tomorrow. If LeBron came out and said, I want to be traded tomorrow, you don't think he would have been traded? Come on now. LeBron would have been traded so goddamn fast. By the time you looked up, he out there already training in his arm um, jersey. This is all of this is a dog and pony show. One player's allowed to do whatever the hell he want to do, make any trade he want, can go anywhere he want. Kevin Durant want to trade because Sean Marks and them aren't doing right by him. That's why I said. And then you're going to do Kyrie Irving wrong. Kyrie Irving, the one who got Kevin Durant over there. If it wasn't for Kyrie, Kevin Durant wouldn't have been there. Kevin Durant would have been in New York with the Knicks. And I still think he should have gone to the Knicks. I still think he would have got a better shot to win with the Knicks. The Knicks have a better group of talent. They just don't have that superstar. They thought it was Julius Randle, but he put up a dud in the playoffs. And he cracked under pressure. Yeah, 
everybody, yeah, I feel you, Dorian. Everybody tired of it. Everybody hate it. Because the NBA, see, the problem is the NBA, they don't know how to market their players. They don't know how to market in each market. All they know how to do is put everything in LeBron James. See, instead of destroying Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving, you post to big them up. You're supposed to showcase them. They're the talent of your league. But see, they're trying to do this damn good guy, bad guy bullshit that's been going on before time. Dr. J was the good guy. Larry Bird, bad guy when they played each other. Magic, good guy. Larry Bird, the bad guy, the assassin, the white boy from Indiana. It's, all this shit is dumb. They've been doing this shit forever. Man, I'm, I'm mad at football right now because they got all these sorry-ass white quarterbacks out here, Q. And Cam can't get a backup job. That's some bullshit. Cam and RG3 can't get no backup job, but you got all these sorry ass, these sorry ass on white boys at quarterback who can't throw a damn lick. <laughs> Only out there because they skin tone. Right, and then they stupid. They should have made Allen Iverson the face of the league. But they don't want to do that. It's the same thing. Ja, they're going to treat John ja Morant like Allen Iverson. Watch what I tell you. Now, if John ja Morant cuts his hair, then John ja Morant done crossed over to that other side. But if he keeps his hair the same, John ja Morant's still there. But this is what they're doing, bruh. They're going to do John Morant like they did Allen Iverson. They're going to promote him as the bad guy. Watch what I tell you. He's going to be the bad guy. He's going to be the bad guy. Luca's going to be the good guy. When he plays against Steph, Steph's the good guy. John Morant's the new Allen Iverson. That's what they're going to do. No, I don't want him to change either, Melo. I'm just saying, if you see him cut his hair, see, Iverson cut his hair before. Nobody caught that shit when he cut his hair. He tried to conform everything. He cut his hair. He came to that one all-star game without the braids. He had to fade. That's when I said, oh, shit, they got Allen Iverson. <laughs> they got Allen Iverson. They got Bubba Chuck. They got Chuck. That's what happened. Exactly. Man, the Grizzlies can win. If the Grizzlies stay healthy, they can win because how the Grizzlies play the game, they play five guys. They don't play just around Ja. Ja don't have to be that effective. Ja, ja don't have to score like that. Ja could just get rebounds and assists. They can run the offense through Josh Jackson. If the Grizzlies smart, I run the offense through Josh Jackson. Yeah, they yeah, they love to make. They love to make Luka that. All Luka is is a better LeBron James. That's all he is. He's a more skilled LeBron James. That's all Luka is. He's more skilled than LeBron ever was. <laughs> better player than LeBron ever was. The only thing LeBron was better at was he was more athletic. Damn. That sucks. He said, got to get that funny bunny out of office. Dog, baseball been trash since Barry Sanders left. I mean, Barry Bonds left. 
When Barry Bonds left baseball, I told everybody, baseball is done. The brothers, done. Baseball will never mess with the brothers anymore. Seriously. Baseball been trashed. When Barry Bonds left, that's when I left. I left baseball because I started seeing what they were doing. They started getting a lot of the players, the black players from Cuba, the Dominican, um, overseas and bringing them in. That's what they're going to do in the NBA. Watch. They're going to start phasing out all the American brothers. They're going to bring those Africans in. Those Africans going to be the new brothers of the league. Like Giannis and all them, they're going to be the fake black people. They're trying to phase out a lot of the American players. Watch what I tell you. They're going to try to get rid of all of them. That's what they want. They want to get all of them. Yeah, but it wasn't just Dirk. Dirk's not even the best overseas player. The greatest overseas player was um Hakeem Olajuwon. <laughs> Hakeem was the greatest overseas player in history. Then I would say Tim Duncan. But they don't talk about them. They always talk about European players. European players can't mess with them Africans. <laughs> Them Africans are better than them. Yeah, Akeem Olajuwon's the great. He's my second greatest player of all time. I got Kobe one. I got him two. Those are the two greatest players I ever seen with the ball in their hands. But the greatest overseas player is Akeem Olajuwon. It's not no damn European. The greatest European player, I would take Tony Parker over Dirk Nowitzki. Everybody pick Dirk. I'm like, man, I'll take Tony Parker. Tony was clutch in big games. What you doing over here? Well, I'm so happy that here. You're not my favorite niece. Both of y'all my favorite niece. And both of y'all get on my nerves. Don't be leaving all your trash around here. What's up? I don't have a favorite niece. I got two nieces and they both a handful. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, Sharif Abdul Rahim. Yeah, Sharif was a beast. Injuries just messed Sharif up. Sharif was a monster. If, if Sharif would have never had injuries, the Grizzlies would have been a beast. The Grizzlies had him. They had Big Country Reeves. They would have been straight, but Big Country ate itself out the lead. And Sharif kept getting hurt. Sharif kept getting hurt. But Sharif Adurahim, Sharif Adurahim was a problem. People forgot how good Sharif was, and that's what pissed me off. I ain't talking about Sharif O'Neal to all you young people. I'm talking about Sharif Adurahim. <laughs> I'm not talking about Sharif O'Neal, okay? We ain't talking about O'Neal. His son ain't ready yet. We talking about that real baller. 
Oh man, Sabonis, yeah, Sabonis could be one of the best too. Sabonis is in my top five. Sabonis was better than Dirk Nowitzki. That's why I'm saying all these people like Dirk because he had that one playoff run where he beat the Heat. Dog, before that, Dirk was choking. <laughs> he was choking every playoffs. That's why I sit back and be like, what is people talking about? Why are people hyping, overhyping Dirk? Dirk getting all this praise. I'm like, man, I'm telling you, boy. It seemed like when you white, boy, your ass get all the praise in the world. It's crazy. It's crazy. I just don't get it. Like, Arvidas was better than Dirk. That's why I try to tell this. These people like, dude, Dirk couldn't hold a torch to Arvidas Sabonis. Are you kidding me? Arvidas could play defense. Okay. He could play offense. What? I'm building a new house. Do you like the kitchen? What floors? Huh? What type of floors you got? A wooden. Oh, okay. You like the kitchen? Yeah, it looks nice. You don't want to get another color than that? But... I kind of like a peach house, like peaches. I don't know. So, yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm finna warm it up with some of this chicken. You right? Yeah, they hype Dirk up so much. They love Dirk. And I love Dirk too. Dirk was a phenomenal player, but dog, Dirk went better than Rasheed Wallace. Dirk won better than a lot of power forwards. I think Zebo is better than Dirk. <laughs> Nobody gives Zebo no credit <laughs> at all. Zebo don't get no love. Zebo could defend. Zebo could play offense. He had post moves. Every time he played Dirk, he used to give Dirk the business. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The damn white boys, man. White boys get overly praised. Oh, yeah. Manu was a beast, too. But Manu is from Argentina. He from South America. He not from Europe. You know. He was from um Kuko. Kukoc, I think, from Croatia. I think Kukoc, from, he from Europe, too. Kukoc was a beast, too. Kukoc was nice. I love Kukoc. He could shoot, too. Kukoc was a beast coming off that bench. He was a beast. Coming off that bench. He used to hit those clutch threes. He used to save Chicago all the time. His only problem is he wasn't real good defending. That story Charles Barkley told about him was funny as hell.
Yeah. But yeah, I'm finna um, fix something to eat. We're gonna do this on um, StreamYard. Give me a few minutes. Right, he is. He's a way better version of O'Kerr, yeah. That's a great comparison, eh, Dub? But I'm finna open up the StreamYard in a few minutes. Give me a second, y'all. Thank y'all for listening. I'm out. Deezy.